fraction. What is fraction? How to write fraction? How to write the fraction into words? Words into fact. How? How? What is fraction? That's what we are going to do today. Now, when you have a whole cake, when you divide it equally into two, then we say there are two halves in a cake. So each is part of the whole cake. So we say half cake plus half cake, one whole cake. So we are going to look in detail a little bit about fraction. Now, what is fraction? A fraction is part of a whole. So we are looking at what? What is a fraction? What is a fraction? And that's what we are looking at. What is a fraction? A fraction is part of a whole. A fraction is part of a whole. Now, for example, if you have, let's say, you have a square cake. Now you say this one part of the one or we call this is one whole. One whole. And we can represent this as a fraction that is one out of one. One by one. All right. Now, this same thing, now we have a cake here and we are going to divide that cake into two parts. We are going to divide this cake into two parts. So we have half, one out of two, one out of two. So now we have divided the cake into two equal halves. So, this part, the shaded part, we say that is one part out of two. The shaded part, we call this half, half, or one part, one, and the cake is divided into two parts, one out of two. So we will write it as one part out of two parts, one part, one part out of, out of two. So you see what the fraction now? A fraction is part of a whole. So this half is part of the whole. That is one part out of two. Now the same cake. Let's divide the same cake now into four parts. One and two. Now. I'm going to shade only one part here. Now, the shaded part, how do we represent in fraction? The shaded part, you will say quarter. One, two, three, four. You say quarter. The shaded part, we say quarter. 
and how do we represent in fraction one part out of four one two three four one by four so the shaded part is quarter and we write it as one by four and then how do we write in words we'll say one part out of four one part out of four because we cut it into four parts out of four that is quarter you get that now the same cake now we have here one by one one by two one by four now the cake now again we are going to cut it into four parts and this time i am going to give away one part two part three parts three parts are shaded so half quarter we have one quarter two quarter three quarters so three quarters three quarters now three quarters we will write it as three fourths or three by four three quarters now we can write this in words as three parts three parts out of three parts out of four now fraction what is a fraction a fraction is part of a whole here we have a whole cake and we call that one whole how do we represent that in fraction one by one all right now here we have a cake cut equally into two parts and the shaded part is called half that is one part out of two one by two how do we write in words one part out of two parts one part out of two parts we have made it into two parts and one part now here we have divided the cake into four equal parts and one part is shaded and the shaded portion is called a quarter that is 1 by 4 1 2 3 4 so we write it in words as one part out of four parts one part out of four parts now we have here three parts shaded three quarters 1 2 3 so 3 we write the fraction as 3 by 4 how do you write it in words three parts out of four parts so we represent the fraction whole that is 1 by 1 half 1 by 2 quarter 1 by 4 and 3 quarter that is 3 by 4 so we are looking at what is a fraction when we have a cake and we cut it in into two halves then we represent it as 1 by 2 then we divide it into four equal part we can write when we take only one part then we say One by four, and we have a cake, and there are three shaded portion. We write the three by four. Fraction. If I give you some words, how to write in fraction? Okay, that's what we are going to do. Write the fraction for each of the following. Now. write the fraction you're going to write the fractions the 
write the fraction for each. For each of the following. Okay, now I'm going to write first one three fourth three fourth next I have here one fifth one fifth. Then three eighths, three eighth, then two seventh, two. Seventh, and then five tenth, five tenth. So you have here five things, and you need to write the fraction. How do you represent this in fraction? That's what we are doing. Here you have three fourths. That is three. Three fourth, you write it as three fourth. That is four parts. And okay, now if I have a picture here, here I have a picture, and you divide this into four parts. Okay, one, two, three, four. And then three fourths, that is three parts out of four. One, two, and three. And that's how we get the three fourths. The next one is one fifth. One fifth. Okay, that is how will we write one by five? Numerator one, one fifth. Now, let's see. Now, look at the picture here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now, you have a picture here. And it says one fifth, only one part out of five. This is one fifth. That all right? Next is. Three eighths. How do we write three eighths? Three part out of eight parts. Three eighths. All right. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven and eight, and here you have a picture, and it says three a. That means three part. Three parts should be colored out of eight part. Three out of eight. What's the meaning of three eight? One, two, and three part. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight is the denominator. Now you have two seventh, two sixth, or two seventh. We will do it as two seventh. Two seventh. How do we write two seventh? Two parts out of seven parts. Okay. Now. 
two part out of seven part. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now you got to shade two parts only out of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And we are going to shade two parts. One and two. Two seven. Now you have here five tenth. Five tenth. Okay. Five five tenth. Five parts out of ten parts. And here we have five parts out of ten. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So you have a picture with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we have to color how many parts? Five parts. One, two, three, four, and ten. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Five out of ten. Okay? Now that's it. And finally, we'll do one more. We'll do four, four, six. The four, six. That is. Four parts out of six parts. Four parts out of six parts. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Four parts out of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And how many parts we shaded? Four parts. One, two, three, and four. So we learned how to write the fraction for each of the following. Three fourths, three parts shaded. Total number of parts, four. Three by four. Three numerator, four denominator. One fifth. One part out of five parts. One by five. That is one numerator and five denominator. Three eighth. Three parts out of eight portions. So three is the numerator. That's a shaded one. It divided into eight parts. Three eighth. Two seventh. Two out of Seven part, two portions are shaded. We are divided that into seven. Two by seven. Two is the numerator and seven is the denominator. Five tenth. Five out of ten part. We are divided into ten portions and the shaded portions are five. One, two, three, four and five. Finally, you have four sixth. Four part out of Six parts, four portions are shaded. One, two, three, four, and total number of parts, six. Four is the numerator and six is the denominator. We learn to write the fraction for each of this. Three fourths, one fifth, three eighth, two seventh, five tenth, and four sixths.